everyone. I know it has been forever and I feel like I'm gonna have to get back into the swing of things, the flow. I'm kind of like obviously out of practice. I haven't filmed in it's been over a year, yeah, because I think the last video that I posted, I was in Florida and I was on vacation, which was last June or July. Yeah, I just, like, when I got back, I just, life happened. I have so much to catch you up on, but I'm happy to be back. My hair is different. It's lighter. Yeah, so bear with me, guys. Yes, I have to get back into the flow and I'm just going to put my hair back. So... I have so much to catch you guys up on. So I quit my job, <laughs> which is crazy because I think I've talked about it before on my channel, but I had been at my job for 13 and a half years and to go ahead and get started, I'm gonna try to talk and this is probably gonna be a really long video, but uh, let me just get started. I'm gonna start with my Becca Brightening Corrector. This is in the shade medium. As I was saying, this is a fairly recent thing. I have been there for 13 and a half years, which is a really long time and it's quite the accomplishment, but my, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain like what happened there. I just like, all of a sudden I felt like it was time for me. I, like, I was very comfortable there and I was very happy there. It wasn't an issue of me being unhappy, but it's just like all of a sudden I felt like it was just time for me to move on. And then on top of that, my boss, the owner, he was terminally, he has since passed away, which has been really hard. You know, he was very, very involved with the business up until the point that he got sick. So when he was diagnosed, he went to travel with his wife and, you know, they did the bucket list and saw all the things. But when he was diagnosed, he kind of like, you know, obviously went to do all the things that he wanted to do and spend time with his wife. So he wasn't really there and he was okay for a while. And then towards the end, he got really, really sick and he had made the decision that you know since it was terminal that he didn't want to fight anymore so he passed and you know it was really weird because i had a lot of co-workers ask me what was gonna happen after he passed away if i was gonna stay there or if i wasn't gonna stay there and at the time i kept wondering why people were asking me that because I had no plans of leaving at the at that time. I'm going in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I had no plans of leaving and I was, you know, wondering why people kept asking me that. And then, you know, when he got really, really sick towards the end, things kind of shifted for me and, you know, really started putting things in perspective that he wasn't going to be there anymore and he had been really really involved in the business you know and i loved him like a father you know he, he was a really really good boss and a really really good person and i knew that it, it would probably be coming soon and that it wouldn't be the same once he passed and so i had made the decision before he had passed to put in my two weeks notice it happened because i had been kind of praying on it i'm pretty strong on my faith and I spent a lot of time with the Lord in the morning and I had been praying on it and I mean to be honest it is something that I had been praying on for a while because you know being sober and not drinking and having to bartend and still be in that atmosphere but I was good at what I did uh, I was the general manager of the restaurant slash bar, so I did bartend also, but you know, there just came a point too where I just, I didn't want to be in that atmosphere anymore and I had been praying on it and it's crazy to me because I never went to look for another job. I never like, I didn't go searching for another job. I just kind of like had been praying on it. And one day my husband told me that setting this paint pot, my husband had came to me and said that the girl that he was working with at his job, she was leaving and they were looking for somebody to take her position. Now, mind you, this is something that I've never done. I have no experience in like literally switching industries because I come from, you know, the restaurant industry, the service industry, bartending. And like, that's what I've been doing since I was 19 years old. That's pretty much all I know. And this is a completely different industry. <laughs> I've gone into the pool services industry, like swimming pools. 
and there is a lot to learn about swimming pools and spas and it's like a completely different thing and uh, anyway so he knew that you know with everything that was going on with my boss and me not wanting to bartend anymore he kind of put me up for the position and kind of pushed me to go at least meet with the owners of the business who he is really good friends with okay so i'm going in with my natural love palette i haven't used this palette in forever i literally just pulled it out of the drawer because i was trying to pick what eyeshadow palette i was going to go with and i saw this one and i haven't used it in forever and i thought it would go with the theme so we're going to be going with the fairy tale ultimate neutral eyeshadow palette natural love by Too faced anyway so he kind of like you know just encouraged me to at least go meet with them and you know see what would happen so i did and honestly when i went i didn't expect to want to do it i thought okay i'll just go meet with them and see what's up and uh, i was very honest with them because i told him about jeff being sick and how you know, he was a really important person in my life and i'm sober my my sobriety is something that i'm very very proud of and tell people as much as i can because i'm proud of that that was a really hard thing for me to get out of and overcome so when i met with them it wasn't even an interview it was literally just like a conversation like sitting down with them because they were like well why would you want to leave the service industry and they were excited to meet with me but they were just you know kind of curious on my thoughts and what was going on in my head so you're know, very honest with them and i'm a, a very very hard worker and i think that kind of really shows in the way that i present myself and the way that i kind of like communicate what's important to me and just my mindset and stuff like that and anyway we really connected and i knew that i wanted to take the job i honestly like i on the way home i did nothing but listen to worship music and pray and ask the lord for guidance because i didn't know i was so scared i feel like i'm getting emotional just talking about it but i like it was it was a really really hard decision and it's still fairly fresh i've only been there for i'm going on my fourth week tomorrow it was a really hard decision especially because this has been such a huge part of my life for so many years it's hard to take that leap of faith but i knew in my heart 100 that i had been praying for this and how often do job opportunities just like literally come to you most of the time if you want a new job you have to go out and look for it and like i said this had been something that i was praying for for a few months now and this opportunity just literally comes and falls in my lap and i felt like honestly like i felt like the holy spirit was telling me like you keep praying about this and you keep talking about this but you don't do anything about it so here i am literally putting this in front of your face so either you take it or you don't and so i was driving home and i was just listening to worship music and thinking about everything and i was praying and i'm like god if this is the right choice if this is what i'm supposed to do if this is the right move for me like i need a sign because this is a huge huge decision like i'm literally like about to quit my job i have a family i have three kids i have to help support and so I said god give me a sign i know i'm not i know we're not supposed to do that but like i was desperate like i was just so scared i was scared out of my mind to say like hey i'm quitting to go do this thing that i've never ever done before and i have no idea what i'm gonna be doing or if i can even do this or if it's even gonna work out so i'm gonna be well obviously I'm working with my husband because he works at the same company. So he got home a little later than I did because I just met with them and then went home. So when he got home, he was like, well, what did you think? What are, what are you going to do? What are your thoughts? I have to tell them something. And I was just so still like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. And I reached in my pocket and... I never ever take home work tickets ever like it was a, a ticket for a food order I literally never ever take those home ever probably like within my 13 and a half years but I had wrote something on the back I can't remember what it was but I wrote something back that I needed to remember and that was the only piece of paper that was around me at the time so I had flipped over this ticket and I wrote down whatever I needed to write down and I stuck it in my uh, jean pocket so when I was home later that night and he was asking me and I was like I don't know I don't know so I had reached in my pocket I don't know why I was just putting in my hands in my pocket like and I felt something in there so I pulled it out and it was that service ticket with the note that I had written down and I flipped the ticket over and the ticket from earlier that day that I didn't even think about but when I flipped it over it was the name of the owner of 
the new pool company kind of because her name is Janice and the name on the ticket was Janice I flipped that ticket over and I saw the name Janice and I was like literally like tears like if that is not a sign my goodness <laughs> in that moment I told him I was like yeah I'll take it like I asked for a sign and this could not be a bigger sign a literal actual sign I told him yes and then I talked to uh, the husband and the wife on the phone and uh, kind of talked to them about what would happen because you know obviously I had to put in my two weeks notice and I was really nervous about that and didn't want to just up and leave obviously I wanted to do things the right way they're like family to me and I'm gonna go in with the shade fairy tale because I feel like that's pretty fitting I told them I want to do things the right way. I want to put in my two weeks. I want to obviously train somebody because at the time I had no idea who would take my place. I had not a clue, honestly. She told me just, just touch base and keep them in the loop. Obviously, they were very understanding of the fact that I needed to stay for those two weeks. The next day, I had been dreading it because I don't, I'm not a person that likes confrontation. And I felt like, you know, I didn't know how this would go over, especially, especially just like up and leaving. So the next day, I had been putting it off all day, honestly. Like, I kept meaning to call the owner and tell her what was going on and kind of explain my train of thought and then another huge thing was the benefits like medical benefits like a, a lot of the times in service industry especially with small business you don't get things like benefits and vacation time and stuff like that that was a huge thing especially because i'm getting older and stuff like that is important when you get older so when i called her it wasn't until after I got off work because I was going to call her because we usually we talk in the morning and we talk for like a long, long time usually. So I didn't want to, I just didn't have the courage to do it in the morning. So I waited until I got home and I could like go for a walk and kind of clear my mind and gather my courage to call her and tell her because it's like, it's like a breakup call. I didn't know how she would take it. I didn't, I didn't know how anything was going to go. I was scared out of my mind because that's just the kind of person that I am. So I called her and talking a little bit about what was going on at the restaurant and, and how everything was. And she asked, so how is everything? I took that as my opportunity to say, well, that's actually the reason that I'm calling. Really honest about this other job opportunity that I got and going in with my Rare Beauty Foundation in the shade 290N. I was just really honest that I wanted to take the job and you know they're offering benefits and just I felt that my time had come and that I was super super appreciative of all of the years and all of everything but I felt like it was time for me she was obviously kind of taken aback but at the same time she was very understanding and she was very much completely understood where I was coming from because not only with the benefits and things like that just as far as my sobriety and not wanting to be in in the industry anymore she was very understanding of that like she got it for sure it was hard it was a, it was a long long conversation that we had and, and she wanted to make sure like as a friend that I wasn't just doing this strictly for the benefits she wanted to make sure that I would be happy and I said yes like it, I, I feel like it's right really felt a connection with them it's funny they remind me a lot of each other like it, at Berry Hill where I was working it's you know a small business husband and a wife and the pool company that I'm working with it's the husband and the wife and they remind me a lot of each other which is another reason that I felt like it was right I feel like I'm moving on from one family to go help another family so 100% it felt right so of course we talked about who would be my successor and what were we going to do so there was a whole whirlwind of things that transpired afterwards because nothing is ever as you think it's going to turn out but um is Dermacolor camouflage cream in d14 put in my two weeks notice and then i think it wasn't until like thursday i had talked to her on I think this was on a friday that i told her so that my two weeks would start that monday we had no idea who was going to fill the position or what we were going to do a few people had kind of expressed interest but at the time the one that i had my eye on she hadn't you know really said anything about it i had met with another girl from another 
location business as a franchise so I'd met with another girl who had worked at another location who was more than qualified but ultimately it didn't turn out to be a good fit so it did at that time, I had the girl that I had my eye on. She reached out and said that she was interested and she would really like to step up to the position. And I was so happy because I wanted it to be her all along. I just didn't know if she wanted the position or if she wanted to step up because like me, she had come from the night bartending and it's a big change to go from Monday through Friday, you know, nine to five. But she took it and um i trained her for one more week and then i said my goodbyes and it was really really hard and i think the crazy thing is that jeff had passed on i think it, it was on father's day so it was the sunday before my last week he had passed so i'm gonna go in with my concealer this is kevin aquan sensual skin enhancer so he had passed on father's day towards the end of the evening and then i got the text late that night it was maybe like 11 but I had already gone to bed from one of the kids. It, that made it even harder to leave, you know, cause I, I just such a hard time. But at the same time, the closer that it got to the service and things like that, it also felt like the right time. It's very strange how that all kind of coincided. I know that everything is in God's perfect timings. I had actually planned to speak at the service, but when the day came, I wrote this speech and everything and it was perfect, it was beautiful. But when the day came, it wasn't how I thought it would be. It was kind of like, a, if you want to speak, raise your hand. And like, I just, I wasn't comfortable doing that. I thought it was going to be like, call you up. Cause I had told him beforehand that, you know, I had wanted to speak. So I thought it was going to be like that. And then it wasn't, and it was just, I don't know. I wasn't, I was already really, really nervous about doing it. And then just, I don't know, I chickened out. So I had it written down. So of course I gave it to Wendy, I chicken out. <laughs> so that was actually the celebration of life was on my first day at my new job. So my new boss, I had asked her beforehand, uh, she knew about the cancer and everything. So when he finally passed, I told her that the celebration of life was on Monday, which was my first day. So it was at three o'clock. Would it be okay if I left early? This is P. Louise, the cheek of it flirty flush of color liquid blush in raspberry ribbon my sister gave me this so she said of course so i went to the celebration of life and i thought it was so weird that like the day i'm starting this new job is the exact same day that i'm saying goodbye to my boss and to this job that i've had for so many years and this whole part of my life like i thought that was just so interesting that all of this led up to the more that I think about it, the more that I felt like it was the right decision 100% because it wouldn't be the same for me to be there without Jeff being there. Because I mean, I started when I was just 19 years old and I'm 33 now. Felt like it just, it wouldn't be the same for me. I think it all happened in, in perfect timing. So I started a new job and I'm really, really happy. I'm really liking it. Like I said, it's a huge learning curve for me, but the people are great. Um, I don't really get to see my husband because he's out in the field. So I'm in the office, but I get to wear heels, which I love. You guys know that I'm a high heel kind of gal. I wear the cutest clothes, like office wear. I'm, I'm really happy. Recently, I've only been there for, I'm going on my fourth week. And, and obviously I had to put my two weeks before that. So that was six weeks. And then it's just been like a whole crazy, just it's crazy how life happens and it happens fast. I've been trying to get settled into this new groove. I'm still, you know, Monday through Friday, but my hours have changed a little bit. And so last we talked, I mentioned to you guys that me and Ryan are planning our vow renewal. So we are about seven months out, maybe seven and a half months out. I guess I can let you guys know we're getting married at Disney. We're renewing our vows at Disney. So I am so excited. So besides starting a brand new job and completely changing my life, I'm in the middle of planning this event. So I love this thing. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend if you can get your hands on this. Like I've gone crazy on wedding stuff. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna be a Disney bride. My dreams are coming true. I can't believe it's happening. We are getting married at Walt Disney World and I can't wait. So that is the purpose behind this big thing here. 
and these are my flowers so I've been putting together floral arrangements here and there so there's just like wedding stuff all over my house going in with my Scott Barnes palette so it's really exciting Ooh, that came out really really dark I'm gonna do a separate video of the things that I already have as far as wedding stuff and say like I really don't mind if you guys get sick of wedding content but this is really important to me and this is something that I want to remember forever so a lot of the times you know I know I took a little break but I like to go back and watch my old videos just for memories and I want to remember this time in my life forever and ever so I am going to be trying to post everything because I want to remember so if I hope you guys follow me on Instagram my name is uh, Courtney Cotton Candy on Instagram yeah follow me on there I've been posting a lot of stuff on there we flew out to Orlando or Lake Buena Vista, Kissimmee, whatever you want to call it. We flew out to Disney back in February so we could actually see the wedding pavilion because as many times as I've been to Disney World, I've never like been to the Grand Floridian because my in-laws live out there in Florida so we don't have to stay on property. We just stay with them and so we flew out there so we could actually see the wedding pavilion in person and honestly I thought that I was going to be underwhelmed or I thought that I was going to be like meh. So there was a few different locations that I wanted to see. I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix powder. This is in the shade NC20 so it's lighter. Um, I just use it to kind of like put under my eyes and all the areas that I want to be brighter. So there was a few different locations that I wanted to see. We looked at the Wedding Pavilion and that was the first one that we went to. And we went to Franck's Bridal Studio, which is like right in front of it. And they had, oh God. I'll uh, maybe do a separate video of like all my videos that I had and just kind of like walk you guys through it. It is going to be um, long ways versus this way because I filmed it for my Instagram. I knew as soon as we walked in, one, they were playing Beauty and the Beast and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite favorite fairy tale disney movie everything so like as soon as we walked in the organist was in there playing beauty and the beast and i knew <laughs> and just like i swear you guys the pictures do not do it justice it was the most incredible experience and just walking in i had chill bumps i knew i knew 100 percent that 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 was the place <laughs> there was no doubt about it and uh, this is matt yeah peachy keen incredible just incredible and i knew right then and there but i still wanted to see the other locations and we went to port orleans which has the oak manor so if we would have picked that one we would have got married outside i liked it but i didn't love it because it has my theme color scheme is going to be like very neutral very white very classic white wedding and if you've ever been to port orleans it's it's got this like green kind of like railing on the thing and I'll, I'll do a separate video on that but it, it was beautiful it had shady oak trees like covering the whole thing and it was gorgeous but after going to the wedding pavilion i just knew that that was it that was the spot that's where i was getting married so ryan really liked that one the third location that i wanted to look at was seabreeze point but we actually wound up not being able to find it ryan was like if it's this hard for us to even find it and we've been to disney how many times how hard would it be for the guests to find it so it, we were kind of doing a self-guided tour plus i knew that i wanted the wedding pavilion so there was no point in going to the other places so um that was in the morning and then we did have a i think it was a one o'clock or two o'clock reservation at be our guest in magic kingdom so we went into the parks and we had lunch there and we rode some rides we actually didn't stay too long because it was just a weekend trip and i did want to spend some time with my mother-in-law too so we actually didn't stay that long at the park we rode two rides i think we got on haunted mansion and Space Mountain because I can never ride Space Mountain with my kids because it just it doesn't work out somebody can't ride or you know whatever I haven't been on Space Mountain in forever so I rode Space Mountain and then we went back to my mother-in-law's house to spend some time with them and then flew back I immediately emailed my wedding lady and uh, I told her like oh well actually I think you can't book it until 12 months out so it has to be like exactly 12 months from the date i had booked this trip in like the end of february and then our date is going to be the beginning of march so i couldn't book it until march 5th so i waited until after march 5th and i told her i loved it i like that is the place 
I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is Too Faced Natural Chocolate Golden Cocoa Bronzer. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Wrong brush. Oh, also I got these Makeup by Ariel Morphe Collection brushes. Obsessed. I love them. This is the Mr. Right Too Faced brush. Anyway, so once March 5th rolled around, I emailed her and I said like 100% I want the Wedding Pavilion. Once we decided that, we I met with the room block specialist via phone and um, so we picked our hotel selections and everybody's super excited and I can't wait. So you guys just be ready for tons of like wedding contents because I'm obsessed and um, okay, so I got this. I remember when the Pamela Anderson craze was going on like everybody became obsessed with her again i've always been obsessed with her i love her but um so i got the alexis vogel glow dust and this is in the shade i guess it's sequins that's what it says on the bottom but anyway it's just a loose pigment and it's gorgeous and i love it and i don't know if you can see it but it's stunning you see that <laughs> love it um anyway yeah so that's what's been going on with me um So what do you guys think of my hair? Do you like this color? I really, really like it. It's just so, so different. I haven't had light hair since I was like in high school. I've always had really, really jet black hair. It's definitely different for me. I do like bridal makeup trials all the time on myself because I just have no idea what I want to look like on the day and I don't know please leave me suggestions or your thoughts how you like my makeup I don't know what I'm gonna do honestly I just I want to look like the most beautiful I've ever looked and I know that's like so much pressure people put on themselves on their wedding days but like I just I want it to be perfect and I've already booked my photographer and she does amazing freaking work and I just, I want the photos, I want, I haven't completely decided on um, videography. I don't really think it's in the budget, which I know like I definitely should make room in the budget because I want to remember this day forever. But at the same time, I am kind of like prioritizing photos above the videography right now because you can get people to take little videos and stuff and give them my camera and you know maybe vlog the day that's an option for sure I mean the ones that I've seen are upwards of like seven thousand dollars and that is just I'm sorry that's anyway so the closer I get hopefully I mean maybe God will bless me with you know a videographer but at this point I don't have one booked I have booked my photographer I have booked a photo booth I have booked my uh, so I get a wedding planner included with the Disney wedding and then um, so I booked a, a separate wedding planner that is gonna be like my wedding planner and she's gonna kind of like coordinate because I've got some outside vendors coming in and if it's not Disney that you're using they won't like mess with any of your stuff if Disney didn't like personally book that for you and you're paying through Disney they won't like help you with any of that so I have an, an outside wedding planner that's gonna help me with that and she's kind of helping me plan and like really bring my vision to life but um I'm excited I think that's all I have booked oh and then um was talking to a girl on Facebook who does hair I was gonna do my own hair but I feel like my veil I already have my dress, I, so I have three dresses. I know I'm crazy, but my veil is heavy and it's long. My hair, I need my hair to be like really secure. So I was gonna do my own hair, but I just like, I don't trust myself. I can't see the back of my head either. So if I could like take my head off and put it on a tripod or something and do my hair, like I would be fine, but I can't do that obviously. So I'm gonna have somebody come in and do my hair. And um, yeah, so I was messaging her back and forth yesterday and we're gonna sign the contract today. A lot of contracts, a lot of deposits and all of that fun stuff. So, all right, I'm going to do my hair really quickly and I finished my hair or I really just, curled a couple pieces but this is the finished makeup look I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my story times and um catching up with me I hope to get back to a regular schedule but like I said still getting into the swing of things 
so bear with me i'm going to try to post consistently and uh, like i said just be ready for lots of wedding content um, my lipstick that i'm wearing is mac yash and my lip liner that i'm wearing is kylie i sharpened it too much but i'm pretty sure this is coconut um well anyway that's my video for today thank you for catching up with me and i will see you guys soon